slime guys if I'm back again with another video and uh, just like the past few videos this video is in response to a posting that a gentleman had put on um, the uh, word in Excel tricks group on uh, Facebook and what the gentleman wanted was uh, how to calculate the shipping rate depending on the destination destination and the weight of the shipment now in that uh, query that he had posted on Facebook he had essentially something similar to this um, let me just in fact let me just pull up oops this is what uh, the gentleman had um, posted on uh, on Facebook uh, you have the weights in kg and then for each city from city A the shipment is going to city B or C or D or E and the car, if it's 70 or less than 70 ki uh, kilos the minimum uh, you know, the rate would be 267.75 and uh, similarly for C, uh, city C it will be 280.5 D would be uh, 327.25 and E is 261.25. Now, if the shipment, uh, the weight of the shipment is more than 70 kg, uh, then depending on how, how much more it is, uh, you the customer will pay an additional per kg uh, charge. And so if it's between 71 to 250 kg, uh, you will pay this minimum, plus you would pay 383 for each additional kg above 70 kg okay now if it's between 200 and if it's going to city b if it's between 251 to 500 each additional is coming out to 298 and 500 kg is coming out to 255 and about 1000 kg is coming to two dollars and 13 cents uh, per kg extra Essentially, what's happening is as the weight increases, there's a slight discount that gets uh, incorporated into the each additional rate. So, uh, basically, what they wanted was an Excel sheet that would actually automate this, so they could put in the weight and the destination, and we calculate what the total uh, shipping rate would be. So, let's get started. What I've done is I've essentially put that in this form of an Excel sheet. Uh, the first entry would be obviously with zero if you know then and i'll explain why i did that uh if it's uh, 70 kg uh like i said the, the minimum would be 267 and 75 and then from 71 to 250 kg each additional pays 383 and then from 251 to uh, 500 each addition is 298 from 501 to 1000 is 255 and 1001 and above is uh, 213 hang on a second let me just uh, put this uh, background task and be right back okay I'm back sorry about that um, so if it's more than the thousand kg uh, you will uh, this rate will apply depending on the city it is going to so let's come to the data and this is basically the rates sheet uh, this is where you'll be entering the data uh, you, here what you'll do is you'll put in the the date the shipment is being made so for example it is being shipped on the 6th of uh, February which is today and what I've done is I have put this uh, this column as a drop down okay now let's let me show you over here I've done the two separate videos on drop downs I'm just gonna quickly go with this but I do urge you to go back and uh, take a look at those uh, two videos uh, that uh, deal with this topic in detail basically what you do is if you want to set up a, a drop down list here you call data and you use the data validation option okay and it says did allow and you say you select list now what it so what it does is it actually gives you a list of options to select from, and now it no, needs to know what is the source of these 
uh, items that will show up in the list. So here what we did was um, we did we made a series list and I'm just going to select the, the four series and click on OK and there you have it. Right? So that's how you do a, a, a drop down of a series list. So that's essentially what I've done. I've put in a, a drop down for the series. Okay. So let me just delete this column. All right. So uh, let's assume it is going from series A to series B. Um, as you know, regardless of what the weight is, you still pay a minimum of 267.75. So that should pop up right away over here, regardless of what the weight is. Okay. So we select series uh, B, and there you have it. 267.75 uh, has popped up here. Now, how did I do that? Uh, essentially, what I did was, <clears throat> excuse me, in the rates sheet, this car, this is where I'm putting in the um, minimum minimum um, amount, either in the C column or the E or the G or the I. So in the cities column. I put that as as the, the the names of the columns that are going to be in for the minimum rate C E G and I and then I'm using an indirect function what the indirect does is it using an indirect you create a cell reference okay so what it does is it takes the indirect all right and the parameters is rates because it's going to go here And then we look up B2, which is this guy here, in the city list in column two. So it goes here and picks up it just does a V lookup on these two columns. Uh, so city B, second column is C. So in the rates column, it knows in the rates column it needs to go to column C. Now if it was column uh, if it was uh, not B if it was C it would have gone to column E all right so that's what the uh, interest uh, command would do it would take uh, it would create a self reference for you okay uh, let me just set it back to uh, city B and and the, the, the row is, uh, the column is, uh, I'm sorry, the row is whole. So whatever the, uh, the, the, the column is, either C, E, G, or I, and then row four. So depending on whether it's B, C, D, or E, you select which column. So in case of columns, uh, city B is column C, and the rows will always be four. So C4 is where we would grab the minimum rate. Okay, now, what is the, the weight of the, the package that is going? Say for example, it is 10 kg. You're still paying the minimum rate. Okay, there's no additional because you're still, you know, you're still from zero to 70, okay? So there's there's no additional uh, there's no additional that, uh, uh, that you're paying. Now if this was uh, fifty, again you're still below seventy, so below seventy one. I'm sorry, and you're not paying anything extra. Even for seventy, you're not paying anything extra. The moment you cross seventy and you go to seventy one, for example, suddenly what's going to happen is let me just quickly go back go back to this. The moment you come to 71 383 is what the ex what, what you would charge extra per kg okay so I'm gonna make this 71 now if you notice the extra was 383 now another trick here if you um, it does a, a VLOOKUP uh, with the rates depending on whether uh, this is uh, 
सी B or C or D, and that's where you have the VLOOKUP formula, and then it also this is something funny that it does. It subtracts the weight 70 from this weight. The reason why it does that is it needs to find out what is the addition, how much did you actually go over and above the 70. Now the absolute command, what it does is it, if, if you are subtracting, say for example, this C2 was 10. So 10 minus 70, okay? would be a negative 60. What the absolute command does is it gets rid of the the sign and makes it into a positive number, 60. But this would be, for anything less than 70, 71, this would, the additional would be zero anyways. So if you see these uh, cells here, I'm just gonna put in a different color here. The each additional column each additional amount for up to 70 is zero. So up to 70 would be zero. And then anything extra, you would multiply whatever is above 70. Now this again, this lookup again grabs the, the second col the additional column, which additional column we need to look at. It needs to look at D if it's a uh, city B. You can F if it's city C, H if it's city D, and E if it's, uh, it's sorry, J if it's city E. So D, F, H, J. So we have uh, basically told which column to look at, okay? And uh, then also the, the column number. So this will be one, two, three, four, if it's B, five, six, if it's C, seven, eight, if it's D, nine and 10, if it's E, four, six, eight, 10, all right? So it does the VLOOKUP and brings the, the rate, additional rate. But mind you, this is for each additional kilogram, okay? So right now we only have one additional kilogram. And the way it's finding it out is 71 minus 70 and that's one now let's assume this was 72 so there's two additional between this and the between 71 to 250 if it if the weight was of a of a shipment was 72 kg essentially what's happening is it's two kilos over and above the 70 okay so it's going to be 383 into times two, okay? So let's put in 72, see if that works. There you go. That's where you're, you're getting additional uh, per, k, per kg. Now, if it goes over and above 250 and becomes 251, suddenly the minimum rate is 298. So let's put 251 and that would be for each additional kilo over and above 70 you're paying 298 and that's where this is coming from and so the total is come and you in the, for the total basically you're just adding the minimum and the additional charge and that that's it to uh, that's that's pretty much how you would calculate the shipping rate, uh, depending on which city the shipment is going to, what the minimum shipment rate for each particular city is, and what the additional charges are for each additional kilo uh, of shipment for for each uh, destination. All right. So uh, I'm going to end this uh, video here. If you did like this video, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.